Good morning, fellow gamers. Let's look at the World of Tanks Blitz shop and see what is worth buying and what is not. The resource section offers, well, a lot of credits and those aren't great value. So let's move on to the tanks immediately with the tank destroyers collection. There's a lot of tank destroyers in here. The only one that's really great for making credits or useful is the SU-130PM. A lot of the others are low tiers. The SU-100Y is a fun vehicle because of its high alpha damage of 460 and 530 on both of its AP rounds. But obviously any usefulness for making credits beyond tier 8 is diminished. At the SU-12244, it was very interesting once upon a time when there were very few premium tanks, but now it's pretty much been overshadowed. And there is the WZ-121GFT, which plays very similar to this vehicle at tier 8, but is a much better vehicle and makes a lot of credits. Unfortunately, Wargaming doesn't sell that vehicle a lot. So there are interesting vehicles in here. You could theoretically sell these vehicles for gold, but you're never going to make back the 12,000 gold. However, these times 5 XPs are unlocked, which adds value to the bundle, which is very nice. And all of the vehicles do come with equipment. So if you are a gun depression less tank destroyer enthusiast, which is exactly the opposite of what I personally am. I like gun depression and I don't like tank destroyers, so I personally would never buy this. But the SU-130 PM is a very solid tank destroyer, especially for good players. And the 460 alpha damage, 7 degrees of gun depression even, which is better than most Soviet vehicles. And it does have a good camo rating as well, unlike the Scorpion G, which is a bit more about having a fully traversable turret, and it's a lot taller than this. This is a very good sniping vehicle. But the rest of the tanks, there's not much value in there. I mean, tier 5, tier 3, you're not... Let's be honest here, you're not going to play the vehicle much, especially because the waiting times are going to be longer than the battles at tier 3. So it's a really weird thing for Wargaming to even sell tier 3 vehicles, even though they know that they kind of destroyed low-tier matchmaking themselves a couple of years ago. I wouldn't really recommend it, to be honest. If they would sell the SU-130 on its own, can definitely talk about it 7k 8k maximum but here you're getting a lot of stuff you're getting the unlock times fives which is a great thing but you're not really getting much tanks that you're actually going to play the only thing that are really playable here is the su-130 and the su-100y so there's that the sdg i don't think i have to tell you that 7.5k for this vehicle is a pretty damn big joke especially the times fives here are locked you get 1 million creds. In other bundles, you get 30 days of premium. You don't get that here. Pointless vehicle. It does have 400 alpha damage. And that's about where the good things about this vehicle end. Of the penetration is abysmal. The, the accuracy isn't even that good. I only have 5 degrees of gun depression. That combined with the turret at the rear just makes it very clumsy to play. And even though the turret might seem quite well armored, it still has a capola on top that you can pen. So uh, this vehicle is in its entirety very pointless. And there is the Chimera that you can just simply pick up, or even the WZ-122TM that are much better vehicles than this, so there is no point spinning that. And then, once again, low-tier vehicles that you are gonna wait longer in the queue than you're actually gonna spend playing. Fire and Ice, this bundle is in the shop the entire time. It comes back very regularly. I don't know why, it seemingly sells pretty well. Just something I don't understand because the 112 Glacial is one of the worser of uh, Soviet style heavy tanks that exists in the game. It's sort of somewhere slightly above the level of the IS-5 and IS-6, somewhere down there in that pit of despair. And the Object 252 and something like a Type 57 or a Skoda T-56 are much better vehicles to pick up there. And the WZ Blaze, it's an interesting tier 7 tank destroyer, but it is, first of all, a tank destroyer, second of all, a tier 7, so not much value there, in my opinion. Wasn't this bundle 7.5k at some point? Yeah, don't, don't pick these up. They might look cool, but there are much better vehicles in the shop. But now we get to the good tank that I've already played in last week's shop review. So if you want to see some gameplay of the concept won't be, then go back to last week's shop review and check it out there. But basically, the summary is you get 30 days of premium. These are still unlocked, unfortunately. But you also get boosters here, 20k gold for the concept won't be. It can even rival the T-125 for being a very strong hull down vehicle as well. The only downside of this thing is really the 380 alpha damage and the very pointiness of the turret, which means that as soon as you turn it, it becomes very weak because it just completely flat plate here. But frontally on like this, you pretty much can't pen the turret right here, except for the cupola down there if you're shooting down into the vehicle. So this is a very good tank that I can highly recommend. If you already played the T-125, this can be a very worthy pickup. It's not as challenging to play as the Chieftain, maybe also not as rewarding, but it is a very solid middle ground, especially for a entry-level 
tier 10 player and with entry level to 10 player i mean 5000 plus battles and you already have one or two tech tree tier 10s that's what i mean with entry level to 10 players but for that it can be a very good pickup as well so if there's one thing you buy out of this shop out of this tank section probably the concept one b is the best one the mutant is still a hilarious joke and the char future is going to be gone by the time the video releases but you're not absolutely missing nothing because this vehicle is uh it's there. It's, it's very much there. I mean, if they would sell it for 9,000, 10,000 gold, we can talk about it separately because it's fine. Like, it, it's not a bad vehicle by any means, but it has the turret at the rear. doesn't have that much gun depression. I mean, it's 7 degrees. But it's single shotgun. You already have the MX-30 first prototype that, yes, has a worse gun, but has much better armor. This vehicle has no armor whatsoever. And the MX is also faster. So uh, we're not really having an argument for this vehicle here because it's not any better so it being more expensive makes it worse so anyway it's gonna be gone it's not gonna be worth it and then we have the invisible menace and i wish this bundle would be invisible because yeah 11k for two tank destroyers the icu 130 is a the icu 152 exists you don't need this so there's that and then like enriching the icu 152 makes more sense than buying this vehicle pretty much because you can have that gun on the su 130 pm you can have that gun similar ish on better vehicles and not on this hull. This hull really only works best with the massive alpha damage and penetration of the BL-10. TS-5 is still, again, the, the, the WZ-121 GFT exists. You don't need this. I would not recommend a bundle like this. If it be, let's say, 8K, yeah, that's a great bundle, but for the tank destroyer enjoyers out of there, but obviously not for everybody, because that's another problem of things like, for example, the alpha predators because you don't know what you're gonna get. I mean, sure, you're gonna get a vehicle, but you might get an Object 260 or a WZ-1115A or a, at worst, a Karo. Even though you might end up with a tank, you might end up with a bad tank, like a WZ-114 or a T5A or something pointless, like a TL-7, or you might end up so something good, like a Canadian 100 Object 752. The same is true with a great choice, because 15 euros right here, you could end up with a tier 5 for that money. Like, there are a lot of vehicles in here, and the very few of them are actually worth spending money on. I mean, the buffed MX-30B, pretty much the KPZ, the VK-90, the Chieftain, the, the Super Conk to some degree. Like, about half the tier 10s are only good and worth it, and then that only gets worse as you go that further down the stack. Yeah, this the Sendlax basic. Like, there's, there's no point spending money on this vehicle. If it be sold directly for 3k gold, hey, we can talk about it. That's a great deal, but... Or 5k even. If it be sold directly for 5k, we can talk about it. Hey, that's a pretty solid deal as a light tank, but... In a crate? Nah. Speaking of awful, well, not really, but... You can get free 500 gold right here if you spend money, because this is, again, this the, the paid section up here. This is where you can get for free. 20 gold boost, just a very nice thing right here. And five of these and a BG one. You can sell for only 250 gold, so uh, not really that great. And uh, yeah, so you get some customizations down here, but nothing of gameplay value except these times fives right here, which help you grind tech trees a lot faster. So the gold boosters, the time size, they're very useful. Otherwise, the row up here, I mean, yeah, at least she's wearing clothes this time, so that's a bonus that's a, that's that's a bonus i suppose you gotta be into it and wargaming knows it sells well because that's why they keep doing it so and then there's the clan missions where the more tickets you collect the more vehicles you can get down here in the clan section you can get the new batchat avenir which is basically just a batchat ap with a skin and in the style of a batchat 25t so you're not missing anything gameplay wise the buff and tag editor is probably the best vehicle out of these in terms of its skill level above the regular Waffen Traeger and the 50 TP. It's a 50 TP. It's, a, it's performance level is very similar to the regular 50 TP, so you're not getting much out of this, but that it is pretty a, a bit over the top over the regular Waffen Traeger, mostly because it got nerfed that many times, but uh, yeah, if you get one of these from the client events, I would recommend this one, unless you really don't like paper tank drawers, and the 50 TP is the regular easy option, but this vehicle, it's a batch at AP with a skin, basically. And then there's also the Luxury Lounge event for the Centurion 5-1. And the uh, warning, if you already own the Centurion, then you will not get compensated with anything useful. You will get compensated with credits, 1.5 million to be exact. So, not really worth it. Obviously, the conversions for these uh, are absolutely awful, as expected. But you can get times 5s in here. You can get uh, gold boosters in here, which are very useful. And other things like free XP boosters. So, if you have a lot of stuff lying around, like 
for example, 418 million credits, then you could convert those things to other useful things like boosters and the, also the Centurion 5-1 because that is a very good vehicle. And that is what I'm going to play. I mean, why are you going to work this hard on a Friday morning? There we go, with the Centurion 5-1. The only real downside of this vehicle is the quite low alpha damage of 190, and while that might be a very detrimental to a heavy tank, it's sort of okay on a medium. At least it's not the SDG. Now, another slight downside of this vehicle, it's, it's very tall, but it has good armor, so that is gonna make up for that. Now, a lot of people going into the city, which is never a thing that you love to see. But, uh, it's the SDG, just gonna wait for this guy. He's, he is reversing forward, but I have armor! And he doesn't have any penetration whatsoever. So... Yeah, I mean, the, the IS-6's old gun has that kind of level of penetration. That is just sad. Right, now... Silencer is trying to get up. The, uh, STG is, um... Gonna be pretty screwed up here, because I can I take out the Silencer. And this vehicle has very solid armor, so I can highly recommend picking it up. There we go. Unless you obviously have to waste all your premium time or whatever for this thing, and then it's not really worth it. That's that. Now, obviously it is vastly superior to the SDG in everything except alpha damage. But uh, let's now see if Pajero's going to be able to flip him. There's nothing you can do. Penetrate the ball anyway, and uh, there we go. That's problem solved. So, let's see where we can find the rest of the damage. The guys in the city are disintegrating, which is necessarily a bad thing, because you can trade teammates hit points for time that's not really that bad of a trade remember if you want to be a really good player your teammates and the enemies they're just a resource basically and if your teammates lose hit points hey it's not you losing hit points so now I'm gonna have to go over there and maybe find some damage so like if your teammates volunteer to give up their hit points then you ideally don't stop them from doing it don't get mad simply find an opportunity to do damage while they get damaged and that's how you get all that back. Pretty hard to fight that guy. And uh, obviously, it would be opportune to go to a different place now, but uh, unfortunately, a different place is already being contested by three other dudes, so the likelihood of getting a lot of damage there is quite low. Now, I have somewhat the same DPM as T4, which is a unfortunate quirk of uh, Wargaming's tier 8 medium tank balancing that. Hey, let's give it the same DPM and worse alpha damage and worse armor, so that's... Nobody's gonna notice, but look at how massive this thing is. Like, it's a lot larger than a T-42. And while the T-42 is somewhat of a better vehicle, this thing can definitely keep up. Why are you, why are you shooting at me, man? So, this is, this is Skoda that you can shoot. Why me? Maybe get the track shot, not quite. I mean, his tracks are pre-damaged, so if I could... Theoretically, I could have gotten some extra assistance damage, but hey, who cares? That's 2.5k damage. Yo, not bad. Another vehicle is definitely worth it. Works really well in hold down. Works really well in brawling situations as well. And overall, this is one of the very few to rate medium tanks, premium medium tanks, that are worth purchasing. With that said, see you in the next one. Bye.